food celebrity chef Gordon Ramsay. That's right. He recently dropped 50 pounds, and Natalie Morales went to his house in Los Angeles to find out just how he did it. Uh, the hell. This is a walking. Can you smell that? Come here. He's the you. in your face That's master you. chef who tells it like it is. It looks disgusting. It's harder to find anyone in the culinary world bigger than celebrity chef Gordon Ramsay. Where's the beef? With four national television shows, 34 restaurants worldwide, and his 30th book coming out this fall, you would think Chef Ramsay was spreading himself too thin. But these days, the British chef can be found at his home gym trying to stay in shape after his wife, Tana, pushed him to lose over 50 pounds. We know you, of course, for your tough love, but was Tana the one who was giving you the tough love when it came to having to lose weight? Um, to be honest, yes. <laughs> How was that conversation? Because that can be touchy. Gordon's famous for being blunt, so, you know, I just gave him a little bit of his own medicine and basically, you know, suggested that he was uh, getting a little wide around his middle. Got really angry with me when I came out with the saying, little pickers wear bigger knickers. <laughs> he was like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> You literally come on and off, so the eggs don't overcook. Oh. Ramsey may be the boss in the kitchen, but when it comes to working out, Tana runs the show. Why are you making it more difficult? Okay, you've only got another 30 seconds, and then we're going to do your abs. Do my abs? Yes. See? The hazards of being a chef are you're always sampling, right? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's the job. So you're grazing. I'm very good now eating five times a day, but small amounts, as opposed to eating you know, big breakfast, big lunch, or a light lunch, and, and a big dinner. All that work has paid off. Ramsey, who tipped the scales at 270 pounds, is down to his current weight of about 220 pounds. I never really shared this with the kids, mm -hmm. but you know, my father passed at 53. You know, so that's mm -hmm. three years away from where I am now. That's scary. What did he pass away from? Heart attack. And how old were you when your father passed? I was just coming into 30 years of age. You know, it's a big influence. Gone. I want to set that example. I never got to spend that quality time with my father. He's never enjoyed, you know, that man never ever ate in my restaurant. And it pains me today to think that, wow. Running restaurants, though, and knowing, especially in this country, people expect large portions. Do you think we have a problem in this country with how we eat? I think the problem is the level of expectancy. If they toned down the sort of quantity and honed in on the quality, we'd feel so much better. The big thing that struck me years ago when I first came to the US um, was the amount of food to go. Yeah. I remember being in a restaurant and with a journalist and she took a freaking Caesar salad to go. And I said, do you have any idea how crap that tastes an hour later, let alone tomorrow morning? Um, so it's about sort of eating better, but eating less at the same time. I, I, I'm done. Measured advice from a man who's been to hell and back. <coughs> Take it away, <with> you. <coughs> For today, Natalie Morales, NBC News, Los Angeles. Looks great, we mm -hmm. think. Yeah. I know. Impressive. 50 wow. pounds. Yeah. Wow, that's a lot. It's hard to lose weight when you work in a kitchen. <laughs> right. yeah. Yeah. I'd be like, let me just taste that. Yeah, okay. And his wife telling him a little wider in the middle yeah. there. Got to yeah. do it. By the way, I want to mention that Gordon's uh, new show, 24 Hours to Hell and Back, that premieres on Fox on June 13th. Be sure and check your local listings for that. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.